Okay, folks, as I promised, well, it was supposed to be Tuesday, so I could get the rest of the information, but everybody has been asking me, what do you think about this impeachment? So I'm going to tell you, real with Robo gets real with the impeachment. Guys, for serious, there isn't going to be one, okay? That's one. Two, if there is one. It's going to get real ugly real quick. And three, let's look, let, let's look through all the facts in the impeachment, okay? Because I don't want any Dems that hear this to be like, well, Robo, you left us with that cooked grenade. No, you need to drop that because they handed you a big one, buddy. Okay, the impeachment charges are now non-existent, as it were, okay? Because... As of today, Monday the 30th, Pelosi has yet to step forward and offer up some articles of impeachment. She says it's because of this, that, and the other thing, but she doesn't have the gall to write them down. What does that tell you? That there are no charges. Okay. Everybody's crying about Ooh, you were busted about Pelosi knowing what was in the quote-unquote whistleblower complaint. Of course she knew what was in the whistleblower complaint. Just like with that Ford chick. These people had it since August. But what I want to point out that you may not, you know, bring together that I brought together... And then it was verified by an actual politician that brought those two together, too. If you look at the date that the whistleblower status was changed, okay, it was changed from direct first-hand knowledge to second- and third-hand knowledge in August. So what? What's that point to? Look at the date. On the whistleblower complaint. When was it? In August. And I bet you if we put dates to the new rules. The date to the new rule. Will either follow the whistleblower complaint date. Or precede it. Now I'm not saying the guy that's you know. He was a Navy SEAL and all that was lying. But I think some people hid some shit from him. That was very detrimental to his case. Because number one, okay, the whistleblower complaint, I could see how it was important. I'll give him that. Number two, after reading the whistleblower complaint, there isn't anybody that talks like that except for Trey Gowdy and lawyers. Do you guys actually cite, oh, well, you know, officer, I wasn't really speeding because speeding defined by the law in section law, subsection blah, is blah, 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 blah. So you can't write me a ticket. Have a nice day, sir. No, no one speaks like that except for lawyers. So let's look into the lawyer. Okay. The lawyer for this whistleblower is connected to Clinton. And now the whistleblower is all hush hush. You know, we can't we we can't give out the names of the whistleblower, but you could give out the names of the uh Russian hoax crap, huh? You could unmask them motherfuckers, but you couldn't unmask the whistleblower. What um you see Robo don't care who the whistleblower is. In my mind it's Ario Speedway. Okay, because I heard it from a friend who heard it from a friend who heard it from another that you were messing around. Like what kind of information is that? Have you ever played telephone for real? You start out, I love you. I love you, but you're annoying. I love you, but you're annoying and you're irritating me right now. Well, what did they say? I love you, but you're a dick. What? This is why it's important to have first-hand knowledge. However, again... We see corruption in the CIA. We see corruption. 
and Pelosi bit on that corruption. And she said, oh, I knew what was in it before. Of course you knew what was in it before there because you had the whistleblower bullshit around with a lawyer to write their whistleblower complaint, go through the proper channels, blase, blase, so you could have your little cover up and then come out with it. Of course you knew what was in the whistleblower complaint. Nobody's an idiot, ma'am. Sure about that? Oh, I'm pretty sure. And if they are an idiot after this video, then that's on them. They need to go and talk to Jesus. But so it, 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 it's no big thing that she knew what was in the report. Because God knows she might have written it herself. However, the point is this. On what charges are you impeaching a duly elected president that was elected by the majority of the United States? You are silencing all our votes. And that's not cool with us, Pelosi. Not cool at all. Communism, hard at work. <clears throat> Number two. Let's look at what she actually did. And I want the Dems to focus on what I'm saying right now. Okay? Focus. She stood at a podium by herself and opened an impeachment inquiry by herself. She did not put it to a vote on the floor, which is her rules when Clinton was being impeached, okay? Her rules was that this was a serious business and the full house had to agree. Because whether you want to admit it or not, in the house, you have representatives that carry your voice to Washington. You have been silenced. And it's hilarious when it happens to conservatives and Republicans and the right and people like me. Not so funny, is it now? Then, Adam Schiff, in all his wondrous funny glory, I'm pretty sure I can find a dust bunny in my house that is a lot more amusing than him is going to make a parody of the phone call. But not too long ago, him, Nadler, Pelosi, uh, Maxine Waters, the rest of them, they were talking about how impeaching a president was serious business. And here he is making a joke out of it. Is anybody amused? Democrats, are you amused? I'm not amused. And I still have the heart of a Democrat. I am not amused. This is not fucking funny. Seriously. This impeachment will be going nowhere. And people are worried about what Mitch McConnell said, that it's his constitutional duty to provide a trial for impeachment if the impeachment gets to the Senate? I want y'all to think. Who runs the House? The Democrats. Who runs the Senate? The Republicans. That's Mitch's way of saying, come on, Dems. Bring it. I told you I was a grim reaper. For your ass. Come on. And Mitch, you better make me right. Because it better die on that Senate flow. Because I don't like being wrong. I have already said a hundred million times. A hundred million to zero times, as a matter of fact. A hundred million times that it will die in the Senate. And it will. And everybody's avoiding that fact. That there are no actual articles of impeachment. There are no actual announced charges of impeachment. There is no actual crime nor evidence to support impeachment. So what are they doing? 
They're bullshitting around until they get to their little breaks so they could do what they've been doing for the past 40 years. Nothing. And the reason they hate Trump so much is because he makes them work their asses off to do the will of the people. And I'm telling you, Democrats, liberals, conservatives, Republicans, they don't want to light the fire cake they're lighting. They don't want to do it. And they know they don't want to do it. And Pelosi like, we may lose the house. No, you are going to lose the house. Because you remember when all them news medias and all them senators said it's going to be the Dems that reelect Donald Trump? He wasn't talking about you. He was talking about Dems like me who are tired of you handing us cooked grenades. I'm now nonpartisan. Guess who I'm voting for in 2020? Right across the board again. Because of your impeachment lies. You don't have no articles of impeachment because you have no charges. You have no charges because you have no evidence. And yes, please shift. Keep telling Trump he needs to release his Russian phone calls. Because God knows, like the Mueller report, you're going to find something in there, aren't you? It wasn't in the Ukraine phone call, but it might be in there. Oh my God. Hold on, guys, guys, I got this. It's in the Russian phone calls, really. We need transcripts right now. And you know what Russia is doing? Putin's saying, fuck you, I'm not playing your fucking game. You, congressional Democrats, are putting our country at risk. Don't make us recall our boys home. Because when they come home, they're not going to be fighting on your side. And that's one thing I can guarantee goddamn to you. They'll be fighting on the side of righteousness and con the Constitution, defending their people against corrupt, nasty, ignorant, dangers, terrorists, and terroristic threats, domestic or foreign. And right now, all the domestic ones are sitting in Congress. And they all have the letter D after their name. And that's real with Robo. Oh, and P.S. Impeach this bitch.